Entering games 5 and 6 of the regular season, our Widows are in last place in the Valiant at 1 and 3. They have a tough series of games coming up as they are set to have a Valiant Championship Series rematch with the Pythons who are currently the only undefeated team in the league at 4-0. Before we get to the game however, the girls continue to get better in various ways. Rookie reliever Naomi Encarnacion has been working on her ability to paint the corners with her pitches and is hoping that her improved accuracy will work as an umpire incentive to get more calls to go her way on the mound. Backup catcher Aura Valentin has seen a big increase in her power as of late. I saw balls fly off her bat during batting practice, and when I asked her about it, she just gave me a wink and a smile, and then said, a girl doesn't reveal her secrets. I can't argue with that, but now I'm really interested to see if she can replicate it in a game. Yao Ling and Chloe Nightingale are both sitting out game one of the series, still recovering from their injuries. Nadia Owens is in center, Barbara Dixon takes over third, while Tatiana May plays shortstop and rookie Alexis Gamble moves all the way up to number 2 in the batting order as the aces Serena Slider and Randy Junkson are on the mound. Barry Bombs leads off the game but it's Serena Slider getting the mojo going early with a strikeout. Matt King follows the strikeout with a single into center and that brings up another big bat in Kensley Contreras. She goes down looking at the slider on the inside corner for out number 2 and Yolanda Tyson is to try and keep the inning going. Tyson grounds out to first as the Pythons leave one runner on base. Nadia Owens in the leadoff spot gets on base lifting a single into center over Diane Danger at second to begin the game for the Widows. Alexis Gamble gets greedy and pops the first pitch to first for out number 1. Fontana de la Cruz likes the high pitches, but unfortunately for her, she gets under this one a bit too much, and it's a pop out to second for the second out. Crush Gonzalez comes up with two outs as Owen steals second. She can trot around the bases as Gonzalez launches this ball over the short fence in right for a two run homer. It's her second of the year, and the Widow strikes first in the ball game. Top of the second, and Diane Danger is up with one out. She's locked in at the plate as this fastball gets too much of the zone. It's put out in the right center and into the seats for a solo home run. That gets Danger her first on the year, and the Pythons on the board. The home runs continue as Carla Pontarelli leads off the widow second, pounding this ball into straightaway center. It's an absolute moonshot of a home run. Almost 500 feet, and the widow lead is back to two, it's three to one. Diane Danger is up once again with one out, this time in the top of the fourth, and runner on first. Danger does it again, this time taking it over the short fence in right, and with precision too, as it goes between the holes in the light fixture. This two run shot ties the game up at three. Bottom five now, and Alexis gambles at the plate. She lines this ball into left as Bombs runs back, but he's not able to make the catch, and it's her first career home run. It puts two more runs on the board, and once again, the Widows have the lead. It's five to three. Bottom eight, and Rose Davenport's up. After two straight stolen bases by Crush Gonzalez to get the third. Davenport's able to bring her home with an RBI single into center. That makes it 6-3. Jane Savile's in a tough spot here, bottom 9. With the bases loaded and Lamar Cannon's up pinch hitting with 2 outs. She's able to end the game emphatically with a strikeout to pick up her first save of the year. And the Widows take game 1, 6-3 and hand the Pythons their first loss of the season. Both teams combined for 5 home runs as the long ball was the story of the day. Junkson gets his first loss on the year, while Slider earns her first win. The three stars are Diane Danger, Crush Gonzalez, and Carla Pontarelli, who was a perfect 4 for 4 at the plate. Game 2 features Nova Pena and Vika Ivanova as the starters under the lights of Colonial Plaza. It's a blackout for this one as the Widows come out in their all-black uniform. Ivanova starts her night off right, striking out Diane Danger. Izzy Peralta chases the high pitch out of the zone, 
It's a pop out to Pontarelli for out number two. Ivanova ends her first with a strikeout of Draco O'Toole as he looks at the curveball. Owens leads off the Widow first and she grounds out the Danger at second for the first out. Alexis Gamble lifts the first pitch from Pena to right. O'Toole's there and there's the second out as well. De La Cruz gets the high pitch she wants but rolls over it and grounds out to short so the first inning for both teams is very uneventful. Bottom two, and with Crush on third after stealing two bases, Rose Davenport brings them both home as she turns on this ball and demolishes it over the right field wall. It goes 414 feet. It's her second home run of the year. Widows jump out in front, two to zero. Moving all the way to the bottom of the sixth now with Furnace in scoring position for Barbara Dixon. Dixon gives this ball a ride into center. Peralta makes the catch, but is deep enough to score the runner from third to make it 3-0 on the sack fly. Vika Ivanova has an RBI opportunity here. She hits a grounder into the left. She becomes a fire into the plate and throws out Pontarelli, preventing the lead from getting bigger and ending the inning in the process. Ivanova is on fire and still grooving in the top of the seventh. Draco O'Toole quiets the fire just a bit here as he gets all this ball. It's way over the right field fence for a two run shot. His second of the year cuts the widow lead to one. It's three to two. Make it back to back jacks for the Pythons as Mac King deposits this ball into the fairground area in right. This game is exciting all over again as it's tied at three. Bottom seven, and with a runner on third, De La Cruz breaks the tie with this liner into right. The infield was playing in, and Fatima made them pay. Top eight, and Barry Bombs is up with one out facing Jackie Brooks. Bombs tattoos the very first pitch from Brooks into left. It lands in the Python bullpen, and that's a solo home run. The homer ties the game again, this time at four. We head to the bottom of the ninth, all tied at four, and with runners on second and first, up steps Crush Gonzalez. The Pythons decide to pitch to her, and that decision comes back to bite them hard as Gonzalez lines this ball into center. Peralta gets the ball back in, but not in time as the runner from second scores, and the Widows walk it off in nine against the Pythons, five to four. They take both games in the two game series and earn their first series sweep of the year. Jackie Brooks gets credit for the win in relief and Motormouth Moschita is set up with the loss in relief as well. Three stars are Rose Davenport, Draco O'Toole, and Barry Bonds. With the two game sweep of the Pythons under their belt, our girls are now tied for fourth with the Battle Hawks in the Valiant while the Dragons take over first place at 4-1. The Widows will look to end their 5 game homestand on a high note as they welcome the struggling 1-5 Sirens to Colonial Plaza for our first interconference game of the year. Audrey Messier is scheduled to start for the Widows and the Sirens expected starter is Aniko Kataoka. And all right, you guys, that's going to do it for me for today's video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching and listening. I appreciate you all coming out showing your support. Thank you all for helping me get to 200 subscribers as well. I appreciate you all with that. It's a big deal for me. I can't wait to see where we go from here to continue to get bigger and better here on the channel. Uh, a, a word of a note, I guess. This video will be the last one I'm uploading on Sundays. I want to try a different upload schedule. I want to try uploading on either Thursday or Friday. I haven't decided which yet. In the comments, let me know what works for you guys as far as upload schedules and times, that kind of stuff. Let me know what works for you. I'll do my best to get them up on that day and that time. Uh, with all that being said though, also, if for those of you who are new here, do me a favor. If you could, if you'd like to, hit the subscribe button down below. Again, now on the road to 300 subscribers, so let's keep that number going up, 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 up. Let's do that. And uh, uh, make sure that we're hitting the bell as well to get notified when videos go live for you. Stay on the channel, watch some more videos, and until next time, you guys, you know what to do.
keep on shining and keep on grinding. I will see you all in the next one.